Yeah, who doesn't? If you don't, step it up. Devastation, excellent game, by the way. If you ever get a chance okay. to play it, get a dirt sheet. Sure. All right. So who are we getting into? So Arsenal's, of course, known for his uh, static character of Fox. Always going yes. with that character, but I don't think I've seen Sprinkles before. Ooh, okay. I this is fun. So this can be kind of a rough matchup for Ike because Ike is not fast. True. But if he ever gets his hands on him, uh, he can do some mean things to He Fox. can do terrible things, especially for the fact that his character is a hella fax toddler. So Ike does terrible things with up throw and consistently chain grabbing. Now, granted, once you put him on that platform, Nair starts to become looking like Marth Fair. You keep popping him up over and over and over again. And if they yeah. start DIing out, you get stage control and you get happy because you get to potentially fair. And it's not like the slash of Marth Fair where it barely like, lasts two frames. It stays out for a little while. Mm -hmm. And it pops you almost straight up. Uh, he should have short hopped there instead of a full hop. It would have been a lot more advantageous. But right now, Arsenal is making quick work of him, especially using the shine. That as soon as it comes out frame one, oh, Ooh. the punishment, though. He got the shorten, but he just ran right into that medium forward smash. Could, it would have been better for him if he would have uh, Firefox at least at that point, right? Yeah, he, he would have forced him to guess. Yeah, he would have forced him to guess. He could have also just gone to ledge, and he wouldn't have been able to cover that without, like, going for a super hard read. Mm -mm. Put uh, him onto the stage, boys. Ike doesn't do well down there. No, he does not. He, uh... He gets shine spiked, and then he dies. Gosh, it looks like Arsenal's tech skill is on point today. He is fat shaming Ike right now. Good job avoiding the up B. Yep, Ooh, hold ledge. Shine. Yeah, shine using the invulnerability for the back air to finish him off. Mm -hmm. So, jeez, Arsenal you trying to just play with my heartstrings? He's doing yeah, so no. well. Because Ike is forced to go above the stage if you, if you grab ledge, and then he's pretty vulnerable when he's just like launching himself upwards like that, and you can just kick him. Oh, that was the worst DI I've ever seen on a shine. He went almost straight down. Yeah, I think he was holding down, thinking that he would crouch cancel whatever he was going to put out for jab or whatnot, and he was going to down tilt. So I'm, it's kind of a bad mistake to make as Ike. But again, Arsenal's side being right into the fourth match could have just upbeat the ledge. Ooh, that Nair plane has been doing work, especially because he knows the side B is integral for Ike as far as burst movement goes and getting closer to your opponent quickly. Ooh, super late Nair to push him off. Oh, we just got the Nair planes going. Yeah, he's keeping it simple. He doesn't have to do anything flashy here. He's going to hold ledge. Mm, a little bit late. He's going to do it again here. here. Again, just bread and butter. It's simple to edge guard Ike if you have the positioning and you have invulnerability, especially as Fox. If you have, like, a good off of ledge game, it's it's pretty simple. Um, and Fox has a big kick that kills Ike real good. It's so good. But I can still do it. Granted, this matchup it sucks for him in a lot of different ways, but you have to really play it out as, like, your con your punishes and your conversions have to be monstrous. Especially, even against a character like Wolf, you can do that, these sort of things. Uh, true. Wolf being one of the fastest fallers. If, I'm sorry, the, the fastest, fa the fastest faller. faller in the game. So you can make terrible things happen to a lot of these characters if you can make sure that they don't get a platform. That's Perfect. true. That's very true. So this is great for Ike. Mm -hmm. You still get the walls on the side. It's a little bit difficult because it's a bit more of a cone shape, uh, but you can still make terrible things happen to Wolf, especially if you get the chain grabs going. And you can crowd cancel the first shine. You know the jump cancel shine is going to come out afterwards, so you can be preemptive and shield if need be. Yeah. It can be a little harder because you don't have... You can't, like, read him going to a platform to try to get your openings. Um, so the flat ground can be devastating for Ike sometimes. Um... With a stage as wide as FD, not like on Green Hill though. For sure. Um, so it can go both ways, but yeah, definitely the punish game is pretty good here. Green Hill being like the, in my opinion, one of the best stages for Ike. It's super fun. Yeah, playing definitely. There. I would say a top two Ike stage along with Wario Land. Thank you. The the reason being is, I mean, you had those those tight glass zones on the side, and you have walls on the stage, mm. so it makes it so that Ike just loves being able to recover here yeah. and killing people with fair. And only one platform, so you can just chain grab for days. The hard the, the hard part. Oh no! Oh my God, are you kidding me? Justin, what are you doing? Why did you even go into it? And Sprinkles even shaking his head like you gave that to me, dude. Oh. Oh, and the side B. Wolf actually has just some really. On almost all characters, has throws into side B at uh, at kill percent. Oh, Ooh, baby! Shine side B, because if you can do all the shortens and all the angles, because there's three different angles and three different shortens. Yes. Then uh, you can get some nasty confirms. I mean, all that being this. Ooh, wait. Okay, he messed up the jump cancel there. He also wasn't close enough. 
The other thing that you can kind of do that's a bit more tricky, never mind, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. That awesome F smash finishing him off there. That's twice that we've seen Sprinkles with the hard punishes where it counts. Oh, the shine tries to get the back air follow up. Probably should have up air because it would have covered more space and just popped him up. At this point, Arsenal's is playing with his food a little bit. Yeah, he is. He's not worried about edge guarding. He's not terribly concerned about having big punishes at the edge. He's thinking to himself, he can come onto the stage. That's fine. I've been hitting side beats consistently. I, I don't care. Yeah, it doesn't care. matter. He's just killing him outright. Back throw. There it is. Oh, there it is. Yep, back throw side beat. Because he DI'd out there. Yeah, he DI'd out there. You, he probably could have just covered um, the DI up with, like, walk back, short hop, and then angle it up to get the side B. Um, it's pretty consistent with his with the kill follow-ups. Honestly, after back throw with Wolf, it, it sometimes is better to go for odd angles that force the Wolf to have to shorten. Put the execution on him and force him to yeah. make some sort of a decision um, versus the autopilot side B. Yeah, no. DIing up against a lot of combo moves is actually better because people will instinctually dash and try to catch you DIing out. Uh, like against Falcon as a floaty, you can DI up a lot of the time because it's the, it's, the knee is guaranteed um, on DI out or DI up a lot of the time. But if you DI up, they'll instinctually dash, a, dash towards where you, they think you're going to DI out and they'll miss the knee. Um, Sometimes we got to fight against our habits and just react. Because people aren't perfect, it turns out. Hmm. Who knew?